All right, so thanks everybody for coming out. It was a great one. Uh, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe. And until then, we'll see you guys next week. All right, is that it, Ben Simon? Oh, what was that? That was number 999? All right, well, let's do it. 1,000. Well, come on. Let's just go. Let's just go do it now. Let's just go film. 1,000. 1,000. Come on. What are you waiting for? We got to go. 1,000. All right, Mike, you ready for this? Your hat, man, Thank you, sir. All right, let's go do this. 1,000. 1,000 videos. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> So both of these games were less than 10 moves long, and I won both of them. When I was white, when I was black, okay? Which one should we look at first? White. Let's look at the one I was white, because I won that one 31 years ago, okay? So let's look at that one. Now don't blink, it's going to end soon. Ah, that was it. Okay, now we'll look at game two. Now queen d3 is risky because he'll take it. That's, that's, that's the one o'clock class. Okay, queen to d1. Now, black has all these tricks and white stops all those tricks. You guys found all the tricks, you know why? Because tricks are for kids. Don't do that. That's the one o'clock class. He didn't want to lose his rook, so he didn't. Makes sense. He played queen to d2. Now in the one o'clock class, they would probably play bishop takes queen, and then I would, that would be illegal. Then they have to go back to the 12 o'clock class. Eventually, you got to wake up at 5 a.m. if you play bad enough. Yeah. Okay. But it's sort of weird. Isn't it? It's sort of weird? Yeah. Yeah, it's well, it is French, so. Okay. Anyway, so in this position, I made the most unusual of moves. I made the position totally symmetrical, where everything was the same. How did I do that? Well, you have to like all the what? Like what? What move? E5. That makes it totally symmetrical? Someone teach this kid what symmetrical means. Yeah. Everything's the exact same. Both, both sides are the exact same. No, I took and he took back. Now that's symmetrical, right? Okay, and I played here and he copied me and I raised my hand and I'm like, Mike Cummer, he can't copy me. Is that what I did? No. no, no. By the way, if your opponent's copying you, is that allowed? Yeah. If you think the answer is no, I got one thing to say to you. One o'clock class. All right. All right, so I played C4, an explosive move. B, uh, very good. Now, if I can find this game, which is a 0% chance, but I'm going to find it anyway. I like a challenge. Because it reminds me of that game in the opposite way. Does it care about capitalization? A hey, nerdlinger. Yeah. What? No? OK. Okay, one of my favorite games that I, not Mike Shahadi, not my dad. Ah, my, I got my ex-wife, my dad, my brother, and Mike Shahadi. And I have Greg Shahadi versus my ex-wife. <laughs> so, okay, here's the game. That's pretty funny. Yeah, they, we, got, we got four fine golds and they, and they got three Shahadis. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Greg Shahadi beat my ex-wife in 16 moves. No wonder I divorced her. Okay. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. I, I married the wrong one. All right. <laughs> Fan goal, what a hoot. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at the, the top thousand videos we've ever made. Uh, we can't forget that time Barakobian was talking to that kid about the Dutch defense. Let's have a look. What is the name of this opening? Who knows it? This is actually quite popular. There are many very top players play this, world champions play this, and it's popular opening. Who plays this opening? Can you also name at least one grandmaster who plays this? Dutch, Dutch defense. Andre Diamant, a grandmaster from Brazil, and Dutch. <laughs> Anybody else? I said Dutch, but I don't have to play. Who, who is the number one player in the US? In US? Oh, Bobby. No, currently. Oh, <laughs> He's the expert of this opening. He played many times this one, Dutch mm -hmm. defense. And number one in the world, who is he? He played this also.
Remember, this, this is how you play against the Dutch. Takes, knight takes. Knight f6, bishop g5. Well, uh, it's better to follow. One of our, our favorite moments here on the YouTube channel was obviously Beginner Breakdown, one of the longest running series. Right here, Mike Comer, he's the man that did it all. Most entertaining man in chess. Lots of fun with him. My favorite uh, Mike Comer moment was the Meaning of Life Revealed video. Nothing changed my life more than that. Excellent life coach. And my favorite part of that, that particular one, and I know like every line, it was such a, such a classic episode, was when Darcy was looking in the box and she was taken up back. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at it. And what I have inside this box contains the meaning of life. <gasps> yeah, so I showed one of my coworkers, Darcy, what was in this box. <laughs> and she was taken aback. <laughs> And then I'm like, yeah, you can't handle what was in the box. <laughs> well, all right, so we're all going to die. Can everybody agree with that? I'm never going to die. All right, we're all going to die. So let's say, why even bother? Why, why, don't, we just, why don't we just, you know, just, you know, just be miserable? You know, we're going to die. It's a realization. OK. All right, so, so all right. So I'm playing white against uh, this miserable, miserable guy. This was back in uh, 96 as well. All right, so I'm white. And uh, we play the Petrov defense, okay. So I, I attack his knight, and so he attacks my knight. I take his knight, okay. So, so he thinks he has his queen on e7, okay. So he plays the move, ugh. All right, yeah, you can't do that, right? So, but you touched your king, so you have to play something, right? So the only legal move is here. And then we easily win his queen with a double check. So the king moves, knight. All right, so, so this is like a lot of people, all right? You know, something tragic happens in uh, the first part of their life. And, uh, you know, tragedy struck, you know, there's nothing left to do. All right, so I got news for everybody. Tragedy happens to everybody. You're not special, unfortunately, <laughs> OK? And it's like, we got to get up from this, OK? So quick story, all right, before I was a uh, you know, chess superstar, you know, I worked at uh, stocking shelves at uh, grocery stores, okay? It was an awesome, awesome uh, time here, and uh, it was a lot of fun at first, okay? But then, you know, management got in my, uh, my way and stuff, and uh, I'm uh, there throwing boxes into uh, the baler, all right? Everybody know what a baler is? It's a compressor that turns all the boxes into basically one big box, okay? And uh, very sad, very sad. So if you saw the look on my face, it was like, it was bad. So, so I decided I had two choices at that time. I could jump into the baler and, you know, and just, just end it all. Or, or, you know, I could just quit my job and move on. But anyway, I quit my job and I became the superstar that I am. Okay. If there's something bad going in your life, get over it. Get over yourself already and get on with your life. All right. So, you ready for me to open up the box? It should be pretty obvious what it is, though, after watching that clip. <laughs> All right, here it is. The meaning of life. Getting glory by being awesome. So girls cheer for you. People yell about how great you are. Your enemies get so irritated and befuddled by you. And most importantly, so you have an amazing reason to celebrate with your friends. So that is the meaning of life. You don't have to be Michael Jordan. You don't have to be a state senator. You don't have to be the richest man in the world. You can uh, 
get it on a, the coldest night on a Tuesday. That was amazing. Thanks, Mike, for all the great memories. That's fantastic. Cheers, my good man. And here's some never before seen footage featuring The Rog. We're just gonna go on an adventure tonight. Something's gonna happen. Uh, and so, okay, this is the biggest prize we've ever given away at a Monday Night Mayhem tournament. So I thought, you know, Mayhem is in the title. You never know what to expect when you play in this tournament. And with it all in the line, uh, we're gonna use the ROG 6000 to choose the opening for tonight. And as promised, we're gonna do a nonsense opening. Now, these openings are so bad, I don't even want to touch them with my fingers. So these are just, you know, the dirtiest, worst openings that you guys have ever selected. And okay, uh, I was going to sit here and reveal all of the names to you, but apparently there are some names that are just so inappropriate that it could get me fired for even reading the names. Um, so let's see, we gotta dig around in the trash and see if we can find these bad openings and I'm so angry. So <clears throat> nothing's working right. So, all right. So <clears throat> and like we got this big thing, like even my ROG has a box, but all right. So, so very, very frustrating. All right, well, <clears throat> we'll just turn on the ROG. We'll see what we get. Um, we know it's gonna be something bad. Could be the most controversial episode ever. Like who knows if it's, I guess some people would have, you know, taken the, uh, the bad ones out, but uh, who knows? This could be the last episode ever. I might get fired for this, so nobody knows. All right, let's just turn on the uh, the rog. Oh, wait, I gotta turn him. I gotta do my my personal pin. All right, and commence. All right, let's look at the rog fired up. Uh, let's get this thing going. Ah, all right, excellent. So go ahead. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's get this opening. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah. All right, thank you, let's check it out. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a bad one. It's, <laughs> it's the grob. So we're actually doing this, huh? We're doing this? All right, thank you, and deactivate. All right, so let's mentally prepare ourselves to do the grob. Get it, it's like, dude. And then I have to teach the grob? Yeah, there's been lots of fun times here at the chess club. Um, and now let's go ahead and hear what Ben Simon behind the camera, you don't get to hear him too much. Uh, he must have some favorite moments. What do you got for us, Ben? Thanks, Jonathan. You know, a thousand videos, that's a lot of footage. Plenty of it ends up on the cutting room floor. Some of that footage contains Grandmaster Yasser Sarawan, Ben Feingold, Vara Kobian, many others, and I've enjoyed watching it. Here's a few clips you might enjoy as well that just didn't make the final cut. Okay, I'll just go with castles, castles, and here he played knight a6, but normally, and this could happen on the move before as well, you can play c takes d4, knight takes d4, this machine is always talking, I don't know why. We'll have to shush it one day. Knight c6. And that's a normal way to play. Towards the center, fight for the center. I didn't play that much. And in this position, I guess I'm in some mode. Can I change the mode why, of this why thing? Why did you just press? You nothing. Press I pressed nothing. Um, I think it's in some sort of a playing mode or... Uh, what the heck? Oh, turn off coaches watching. Well, that's for sure. We don't want the coach to watch. Yeah, and we also don't want it to talk. <laughs> so, I definitely don't want to go here, because if I went bishop f4, then the pawn will take on d4. Let me show you how it's done. Let's say here, and then pawn takes. If the machine will allow it. I didn't know there were so many different colored arrows. And, and he's talking also. This is something uh, needs to be fixed. Okay. But my point is, yeah? Holding down the controller or anything like I'm holding nothing. Okay. And of course, if you take back, then, oops, if it allowed to do it, you can see that this is just a fork. 
A simple fork, attacking the knight, attacking the bishop, bad news for white. So okay, we don't want that to happen, obviously. Also, white is another little trap. Let's pretend for a moment that this is white to move. Or let me just play some silly move for black. Let's pretend black plays this, just for fun. Now, white has a beautiful little sacrifice. How do we do that? Try to think. Yeah, in the meantime, the machine is just talking and talking. It and it already, not only saying, it already moved. It's already spoiling my, my questions. This machine is terrible. Do you, do you want me to it? Afterwards. The idea is to play rook takes e7. That is a tremendous threat. Because after rook takes e7, knight takes f6 check. And then after this, we just take here. And you can see that this is just checkmate. How do you stop the mate here or here? There is just no way. No way you can stop it. Some of you might say, wait a minute. Why didn't he just take this guy? And the reason is, rook to c8 is very, very strong. Just a monster little move, after which there's just nothing you can do. I'm threatening your rook. I'm threatening to play rook to e8, winning your queen. And if you take, and I take with the bishop, I'm attacking the rook, and I'm threatening rook e8 check, winning the queen. Game over. So quickly. And black had to resign. Why? Because, of course, after rook takes, hey, simply rook to c8, and the game is over. Yeah, the machine is always talking. So I've given up on it. So after rook c8 check, of course, after we won a whole knight, we sacked the queen for the knight. But now we are going to win the queen free and clear after this check, if it's going to let me do it today. Yes? No? No? All right. We, you guys understand, right? Rook c8 is coming. In the, in the game, he just moved his bishop. If you take the c-pawn right here, then after rook f2, I'm going to attack the queen and protect my other b-pawn. The queen will have one of two choices. Now it's screaming. But if you play the move f6 right now, then I will start playing moves like g4. And I'm going to bring my queen and my other rook over, and h4 and g5, and all my pawns are going to, I'm going to basically play on five ranks, and you're going to play on three. And I'm going to eventually open up the position and win. So. Computer wanted to play a4, very nice. Well, actually, I think he resigned here because, yeah, because if he takes back, then simply rook captures d5, threatening the queen, and also threatening rook to d8 mate. For my next class, if this thing talks, I'm leaving the class. That's what I'm telling you. And back in 2013, Yasser was commissioned to make a series of very simple how they move shorts, basically how each piece on the chessboard moved. And those chess fanatics out there who use chess software know a glitch can ruin your day. And on this particular day, it was move number one, white to play, or so he thought. From our starting position, we're going to look at knights. Let's imagine that white opens up What's going on? It doesn't like something. Making an illegal move. Maybe it's the 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 position is kind of reversed itself. The colors reverse themselves. How did that happen? Come and check this out, because this is kind of actually funny. So I was saying that the knight wants to go to f3. Won't let me do it. I've given black the move somehow. Just <laughs> making you move black first? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. I don't think I could repeat that even if I tried. Position set up. Clear board. Reset. Okay. We're going to, okay, no worries. Uh, position set up. Uh, 
Did I click something? Move number? Ah, okay. <laughs> well, we don't want black moving first. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't want to teach the wrong thing. <laughs> right. Okay, just a second. So we can go insert position setup. Position setup. Clear board. Reset. Okay. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> okay, it's not a position setup. Uh, move number. Oh, side to move. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Okay. okay. Clear board. Reset. Okay. Wait, wait, it was stolen black. I don't know why it's auto selecting black to move first for some reason. So let's try it. okay now. Alright, now let's start moving. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Side <laughs> to move. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thanks Ben Simon for uh, all the great videos. Thanks here to Mike. Thanks to all the grandmasters that have made this YouTube channel a big success. Uh, don't forget to hit like or you know, dislike. Uh, we're trying to, you know, make more, more great content. We got a thousand more videos to come. Uh, so we did it. A thousand videos. Yeah. A thousand videos. You ready, boys? Woo! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo> Woo! Ah! <laughs> 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 we did it. <laughs>